so we just stick, uh, we just guard the circle and thing and shoot the bad ponies. Uh, yeah. Do you play Pony Fortress 2? If so, what class do you like? Spectators, go team. Sometimes it's better to provide moral support than fire support on Druk by Gray Scale. What's with the bolter? It's the party rack. The party rack needs to be in the house tonight. So everybody can have, have a good time. time. I wonder. <clears throat> I wonder just how many of you will get this, or is pop culture moving so fast that it is already outdated? Our truck bag, Chris Poke fan, yes. So, Pan, do you have a seal of approval? See you last year. You could say this is the spiritual successor to the first Ask Pun comic in color. On truck bag, Casey. Yes. If you had to pick one place you named as your favorite, which would it be? I'd say when I name this place home. There's something about going to the place you call home that makes it a unique journey from anywhere in the world. Artwork by Ewison. Is it normal that every single pony in Equestria looks adorable? Not every pony feels adorable. Some ponies don't quite have the self-confidence they need. Perhaps you should look in on Ugly Pony and provide some encouragement. I'll drink by Reginda. Do you like fishing? Let's see. Rock the boat, baby. Boom. <sighs> I don't see the lines after oh, that. Oh, she says cheater. Cheater. That's the last time I take Rubik fishing. So wait, what did, what did Rubik do? He threw, he threw his fine pipes. Okay. Your jokes are getting really dark. Huh? Go lighten up. Quit squirming, or we'll need to get a three ponies to change a light bulb. I had to go to an expert on the darkness, so a big thanks to Grim Dark Mac, Big Mac and Dodge. I'll talk about Chris Book Fun. Do you have time to draw? <laughs> Depends on whether you draw faster than me. How does Pun Pony pull the trigger? She doesn't. She squeezes it for great accuracy. I'll drink by Herox. Do you expect me to draw your terrible OC? I doubt you could even draw my cutie mark. Snug levels are passing critical sarcasm. Artwork by Motion Spark. What would happen if you were to swap gender for a while? Can my cutie mark just get bigger? I'll have to take a closer look. I wonder why Star Huntress wants to inspect it so closely. Artwork by Commander Pony, background by Rainbow Dashy. Hey, Pick. C4. You sunk my battleship. You can never go wrong with C4. You can never. I just said that. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> or you didn't hear you. It got cut off. Good game, Pinkie Pie. Wait. What was that last part? I'm drunk by Nero. I got a new boomerang today, but I... 
just can't seem to... Th- I just don't know what went wrong. Oh, oh yeah, that cut off about halfway through the first... first panel. <laughs> I got a new boomerang today, but I just can't seem to throw away my old one. I just don't know what went wrong. I don't know what went wrong either. Artwork by Chris Pokefan. This is Pun's father, Cordovan. He has two kitty bugs, one for taxidermy, one for dermatology, earning him the nickname to taxi dermatologist for an extra joke look up that Cordovan means our joke by C.S. Moore. Giving them that thing. Have you ever thought about porn? Nope. Uh, those user image removed due to pornographic content. <laughs> <coughs> nope, this is a safe work Tumblr. However, that standard assumes you work somewhere that doesn't mind you looking at Tumblr on a work computer, which assumes a particularly lenient browser policy. Artwork by Commander Pony. Background by Bonewall Buck. Yeah, for example, if you worked like at Bad Dragon. That next one doesn't load. It's into an, in, in here it went to another page. Um, the happy groove thinks everything is like dancing does not show up. The picture. Oh, here we go. Did you know mumming and dancing have a lot in common? Really? How so? One wrong turn and you're in hot water. <laughs> Happy Groove thinks everything is like dancing. Maybe she's right. I'm going by Gashibak A. Did you know that the Latin you need it means punish? That probably means that you are our punishment. Uh, as night guard, I think punitor, which means avenger, is more appropriate. I I forget how violent pun can be. Rail guard hoof caps are decorative. Night guard hoof caps are not. Art work by Chris Poke fan. This is Charity, is Pun's mother. Her talent is organizing charity events, and she runs a charity that provides training for ponies who find they aren't able to make a living on the talent of their kitty mark. Her rather wealthy family is from Trottingham, and she has many brothers and sisters. Of them, only Social Butterfly also lives in Cantalot, artwork by C.S. Moore. What do you think about space exploration? It really piques my curiosity. But perhaps the curiosity mission was one big game of Red Rover on track by Wadusher Zero. I think it's Wadusher. Hmm. Yeah. Do you think the story of my tiny garden would make a good book? Don't think it would have much of a plot. There's a new flower pony on Tumblr. Check out Rose Luck Replies. All drunk by Hewison. 
part of a complete breakfast time. Captain Tom Crunch, now with hourglasses, pocket watches, and transdimensional entities. Wait, what? I'm tricked by Iraq Taurus. Background by Bitter Plague Rat. Wait, wait, wait. How did you afford your own library? As a royal pony list, my rent and expense stipends are based on an apartment in downtown Canterlot. There are many ponies uh, like myself. Wait, wait, you missed one. Oh, I cut the bottom off. However, the cost of living in Ponyville is a fraction of Canterlot, and I use the difference to fund the operation of my personal library. There are many ponies like myself who commute to Canterlot for work and live in Ponyville to keep their expenses reasonable. If you'd like to see more of the ponies I have to meet on the train to Canterlot, check out Ask Vinyl and Octavia, artwork by Chris Bookfan. So, Sunshine, if you don't really have ambition to spread your cafe into something larger, why don't you become the boss of it? It's all thanks to this old cart and a part-time job. As a filly, I had a part-time job selling coffee to businesses in Ponyville every morning. I had bought a little shed near downtown Ponyville, where I stored the cart and brewed the coffee early each morning. Soon ponies were coming to my shed to get their coffee before I went on my delivery route. Soon I was running out of coffee long before I ran out of customers. I needed to expand to keep up with demand. When it became available, I bought a nearby storefront, and Good Morning Coffee was born. I still make some deliveries myself, but I do them for fun rather than bits. Oh, that's so cute. I, I like that. By request, here's the story behind Sunshine Morning's Great Eatery. Good Morning Coffee. Artwork by Rufu. Rufu. So were a blade, what would you be? All night guards are trained in weaponry for those those we can't buy to look like is the scythe. What? Never mind. As an earth pony, I have a lot of strength in my core muscles. This makes the scythe rather suited for my style of fighting, aren't tricked by a Trojan pony. What is the worst thing do you think you could have your mane replaced with? I'd say nothing, but that's a bald-faced lie. Oh, 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 please, please put their hair back on, dear God. And yeah, there's, and just, it just says artwork by Tomo6. Do you like to read books with nice plots? I've been reading Backy's biography. That's another good blog that I like. This book has so much plot. They had to print it in large text. Aren't drunk by violence. Is there anyone who doesn't cease to affect your puns? Sure there are. Hey, Gilda. What do what? you want, Trip? Oh. <laughs> you can go ahead. What do you want, twerp? If a griffin wants to be rude to some pony, does she flip them the bird? Face talon. <laughs> See, it wasn't a face hoof. I'm Troy Becker's book fan. Do you take offense to the phrase, no pun intended? I assure you, pun was quite intended. Okay, then. I don't have any brothers or sisters, though not for the lack of my parents trying. Entrecked by Rufu. Have you ever been a bad pun, so to speak? Yeah, hold on. Ah. Uh. 
When I was suffering from discordant syndrome, my behavior was deplorable. For those who are new to my adventures, there was an incident with a transient discord a long time ago. You can check it out at Pun vs. Discord. I'll direct by you, Sin. Do you hate a nine? Hold on. How about we just finish at this page and... Uh, yeah, that was the point. That was what I was thinking. Go do the, the um, story read because Tumblr is being a bitch for me. <laughs> well, we got this last... If you read this one, that's the end of the page. Yeah, let me find it. Do you hate Anons? Uh, unfortunately, one being can send hundreds of messages. And... Uh, come on. God damn it, load. Becoming very frustrating. Oh, yes, I know. And <laughs> My screen is completely black now on that. Fuck you. Well, I, I, I guess I can be pun for this last part. You do? I will murder you. Uh, let's see. Sex, you take it. It's not showing up for me at all. Unfortunately, one being could send hundreds of messages and clog the mailbox. Also, I'm not interested in hearing a message that somebody won't put their name to. When we accepted anonymous messages, roughly 99% of them by volume were garbage. So people generally believe, i uh, sorry, some people generally believe that if they submit the same question 100 times in a row, it will force us to answer it. I'm struck by Tomo 6. Yeah, but, I mean, then again, you can still ask the same question again and again, even if you're not anonymous. Then they can tell that it's the same person spamming that. Uh. And then they can go, okay, you are abusing the box. Oop. Mm-hmm. 